so you can see the kind of rough start kind of revs up and then drops and then comes alive. So when you adjust R52, the potentiometer right there, you actually change your hysteresis and you filter out the signal. So on this case, with this way that distributor set up and with the falling edges on the cam and crank signal, this is what I need to make the car start. So I'm going to turn it, turn it back all the way, so a couple turns just to make sure it maxes out. Yeah, that looks probably good. Alright, I'm just going to plug it in. Why did I have to mess with this to even begin with? Why can't you just plug and play? This type of distributor, 24 plus 1, is known to actually have noise issues. The noise issues stem from the signals being very close to each other and we believe that the stock computer has a lot of filtering already built into it. So when you switch it over to Megasquirt or any other ECU, not all, but some, will have the issues. We get sync loss and you know, noise issues and you can't rev what is it above 2,000, 3,000 RPMs which is actually a major issue. So for me the way I have my settings set up I have the cam and crank sensor on the falling edge and when I switch to that is when I start having the start issue. I can do it on rising and falling and all different combinations and it starts fine but the car was undrivable. So switching the falling falling allowed me to rev it all the way through 7400 RPMs and um, everything was good except for the starting. So I uh, posted on MS Extra and they just said, you know what, change the uh, uh, potentiometers and it might work. So I looked it up and yeah, it seems to be a starting problem right on, the, or, uh, right on their FAQs. So I changed it. And it, what it does just filters out some noise that is present. You have the cam and the crankshaft signal lining up very close to each other, so you can't it can't decipher which signal is which. So this helps separate the signals. At least that's how I understand it. And um, basically, just trying to give the computer a good signal to look at, and this helps. If you were to make a separate crank signal on the actual you know crankshaft using um, uh, like a 36 you know, one wheel or something like that, that would help tremendously, but if you're just going to use a stock distributor with the ignition um, wheel components that are in there, this is what you get. So, anyways, this helped me quite a bit, it's easy to, easy to start up. 